Welcome to Black is with Otero. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And hey, Capricorn. How you doing, Capricorn? I'm here in swell, Capricorn. Oh, that's well, Capricorn. <laughs> Today is going to be a general message. You know how it goes. I'm about to basically expose it all to you. I'm about to lay it all on the table for you. So, you know what I gotta do. Let's open up the floodgates. God, I come to your prayer that you open up my third eye so that I can give Capricorn every single detail of what they need to know. I also ask that any energies that are not mine, any entities that may be trying to harm me or linger in my energy, I ask that you send them back to hell. Eviction notice, Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm getting, if you all have been seeing a lot of spiders recently, it's because somebody is watching you. Somebody is sending spirits, what are they called? Monitoring spirits your way. Yeah. Be careful. Always do you a return back to sender. <clears throat> Somebody is speaking about you in a very, very deceptive way, a very, very low vibrational way. Somebody may be hating on you or just talking amongst their friends about you, trying to get advice concerning you, as well as talking to somebody who has spiritual gifts to see about you, as well as tap into your energy. So be careful. Because somebody doesn't know what to do with you. They don't know how to stop you as well as to get back in your energy. So they need help from others. That's a message for somebody. Because this person is trying to manifest you back into their life. <sighs> what, what did I hear Tara Rita say? I don't stamp nothing I don't know. I love her so much. I think her name is um, The Bunny. I just love how she dresses. I love how she's herself. And if you're watching this, girl, keep doing you. Keep being you because, baby, you got that. You you got that in the bag, boo. But let me stop being gay. Anyway, <laughs> let me get into your message. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? What is Capricorn? I heard access denied. So if this person is trying to tap into you as well as manifest you as well as try to come back to you, they're being denied at the door. They can't come back into your pearly gates. It is what it is. Give me some more information for Capricorn. What I say, Capricorn, God is telling this person, no, go sit down somewhere. <laughs> No, you can't have this relationship back. No, y'all can't go to Carmen Waters. No, you can't have a redo. Go sit down somewhere. <laughs> this person that maybe want to try to come back is going through a divorce or a breakup, so they're trying to spin the block. That is why they're being told no, because they should have chose you to begin with. This person may be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They may be actually bisexual or gay. Or you may be struggling with your sexuality, but I'm telling I'm here to tell you, baby, it's okay. You don't gotta hide in the closet. It's aren't you tired of spiders in there? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so be patient when it comes to your goals as well as your life. Cause everything happens in due time. It it should be like a couple more months, a few weeks couple days but good things come to those who wait as well as this person is going to come back and try to merge the distance between you all basically get back together with you in a couple months a couple weeks or a couple days so expect them to reach out to you this person may be an air sign gemini libra or aquarius but they need you for something they're opportunists as well as a narcissist and they may try to come in and trap you with a baby male or female or trap you with an std and i'm talking to my earth signs Capricorn, hey boo, this is a message for you. But also you may be talking to a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. And these people want to move in with you because they're going through money problems. So they're gonna come in and give you a false commitment so that they can be 
so they can leech off of your opportunities. And that's a fact. Ew. It's giving you roach energy. Give me some information for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of when it comes to these opportunists? Gotta say, put time in things that will make you money. And these people are gonna make you lose money. They're gonna make you. It's gonna be a gamble. You're gonna end up losing. Because this, per this person is one of those people in your life that you don't even know about, that you don't pay attention to because you're focused on yourself. They're envious because you're happy. And they're not happy for you because they're envious. <laughs> Because this person doesn't have genuine feelings for you, but you have gene, you have a good heart, a big heart, and they know that you do. They know that you have a big heart. And they're betting on, literally, they're betting on you having that same big heart to let them in so that they can leech off of you. Let me make sure I'm not flashing huh? <laughs> Confirmation. <sighs> This person is only coming back so they can hurt you even more, even though they know they've already hurt you in the past. This is not the type of person that's going to whine and dine you. They're broke and they're a time waster. And they're going to act like they want to leave this to marriage, but they don't. They don't see forever in you. This person is an opportunist, a non-committal fool, narcissist. This person also is jealous and gossiping to their friends and families about you. And when I say that's a double confirmation that they're jealous of you, this person is going to try to give you a false offer. This is the second time we're seeing this. They're thinking you're a dummy. This person is an F boy and an F girl. And they also have narcissistic parents, so they are a double narcissist. They're going to come in trying to woo you, trying to take you out on a date. That ain't going nowhere but back to the crib so they can have sex with you, knowing then when they got something. And they probably going to bring a spinning light bag and never going to leave. <laughs> this person's currently in a situation shit where there is no love. They, they got somebody already on the low low. This person's going to act like they can provide for you, act like they want to be a provider for you, but they don't got nothing. And then they lack luster and not a star in their door. So why would you want to be with this person? This may be somebody's first name, your first name, or somebody's last name. So God is telling you, don't settle until you get exactly what you want. Because things happen for us, not to us. This person is a fake. I lie to everybody so that they can they, so that they can never see the real me. And the real them is a busted, disgusted, dirty individual. <laughs> Ooh. So um they truly they this person wants you to come and save them from, from their karma and their bad decisions. You make this person want to grow, but they are lazy, so they refuse to put in the work themselves. So they're going to come in and try to leech. And they're only going to bring in more heartbreak to you and more drama. You also got a secret admirer who likes you so much that it scares them. But beware of them too, because they may just be the same type of person, different body. But also this past person truly thinks they're slick, that they can come in and play you. I laugh to my friends and my family about how I'm going to play you, knowingly using you. Be careful. Be careful. Because this person is going to gamble your heart. They're they're playing, they're gambling with you. They're, 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 they're about to make a, a, a risky move towards you in hopes that you fall in the trap again. This person is still in love with you, has fallen in love with you. This may be somebody new, but I'm also getting this past person has not let go of your energy. God is saying, don't focus on this person. Don't even focus on trying to be committed right now because your person will come later on in life. 
So right now, just focus on your money because these people and this past person have wanted you to be a fool for them. Meanwhile, they're still stuck on you. They wanted you to be stuck on them forever. This person sees you as a fun time. This person's a fun girl or a fun guy. They don't want nothing serious. But guess what? This person took your kindness for weakness. And for that, they're getting karma. And they are aware that you see the real them. That's why they're going to try to come in and get you to open up your heart by taking you on a date. But this person is being seen for who they are. Their mask is off. Even other people are starting to see that this person is no good. And, it, and then you scare this person because you have gifts. Your intuition is always calling them out. And no, this person is not over you. And yes, they're trying to manifest you so they can have another chance with you. And yes, you are manifesting in your soulmate as well. Recap, you got somebody from your past that is trying to come back to you, trying to manifest you, trying to get back in your good graces so that they can come and reach up off of you. They want to move in with you. They want to start over with you. They want to have sex with you. But this person has an STD. They may just be going through a little, you know, <laughs> sexual crisis as well. They don't know who they want to be, what they want to have sex with. As well as I'm getting some of my Capricorns out there, you're going through changes as well. You are going, you're transforming into a beautiful butterfly with rainbow wings. Um, yeah, but uh, be careful because you also have new people coming into your life that see you as prosperous as well, sees you as a good time as well. These people are fun girls, fun guys, and they don't really want marriage. They don't really want nothing serious, and you want something serious. So don't be swooned and don't be swayed because these people are not for you, my love. When I say get rid of what doesn't serve you, you're going to have to get rid of a lot of people. And this person's not going to take you serious. These people are not trying to take you serious. They know that you're serious, but they want to have fun with you. They want to make you into an option. You missing information for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What do my Capricorns need to know? What do my Capricorns need to know? What do my Capricorns need to know? All I see is somebody in the mirror fixing up their suit and tie, fixing up their dress, getting their hair together, getting their, putting on cologne, but it's too play, it's to swoon, make you swoon over them. They're charming. Man or woman? Give me some information for Capricorn. Give me some information for Capricorn. They, they are aware of who you are. You're somebody who's successful, becoming successful, and this person watches you. They're, these people are watching who you are becoming, who you are, who you talk to, where you go, they stalk you. This person is somebody who is honestly an energy vampire, and you can see that. You can see their soul. So God is saying, ghost this person. Do not give this person no time or day because they're a lost soul, baby. Do not fall for it because they're literally about to come in being charming, being romantic, just to try to make you fall for them, just to get you to open up your heart for them. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. And that's a message from God. This person may be a Scorpio, but time is up for them and they're going through bad health. So it's 1111, make you a wish. Because the power of the two, I ask that it comes to you. Ew, it's giving dirty penis, dirty vagina. Uh-uh, get rid of what doesn't serve you, Capricorn. Family, friends, or lovers. What does Capricorn need to know? 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 That this person is miserable. So they want to come and make you miserable. They know that they will never be the person that you need them to be. But don't worry about anything. Your spirit is being cloaked. You may have an OnlyFans that's going to go great. And this person also has an OnlyFans that's secretly hidden. They don't want nobody to know about. This person may also be going through an ego death. But not fast enough because they're still very very toxic this person is going to cross your boundaries they're not gonna 
want you to have self-worth, self-love, or even boundaries as well as self-respect. This person's broke and God is telling you this person is a no. So think before you make another mistake, the same mistake. And this person also gossip and lies about you, telling other people lies about you. So God is saying for that, there will be no second chance in love with this person without a doubt. And uh, just know all that karma and all them bad doings, everything is being reversed back onto them. And that uh, OnlyFans account they got is because they're an escort male or female. That's why they got health problems. This person knows, people know that nobody is out here like you. And this person's gonna come in trying to get you pregnant, male or female, trap you with a baby or, or trap you with an STD. They're childish, they're never gonna grow up. They're a man child, woman child. This person, God is saying that you need to make quality decisions, quality choices, because if you choose this person, your life is about to go to hell. Ghost this person, and they're a ghoster. So when they get what they want from you, they're going to disappear. This person is a breadcrumber because they're broke and they lost their job. So they're selling, they, they're selling what they got to get what they need. And they will eventually expose themselves. I've exposed them to you. So there you go. The truth on a platter. This person also hopes that you never find love. But love is literally going to come to you at the right time. They're going to come in trying to use manipulation tactics to control you. And they used to do that in the past as well. God is saying keep healing and protecting your heart. Because this person is going to break it. And let's get some hidden truths. Because mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm. what's this <laughs> ah, they want you to know that you were the best thing in their life and they lost it oh well it was never meant for you because you're dirty what else is Capricorn need to know about this person this escort what does Capricorn need to know about this escort who sleeps with all sexes the escort that sleeps with all sexes they know that they cross the line and that y'all are destined to leave each other alone. <laughs> they lose sleep over you. They hope that one day that you could forgive them, knowing that you were the best thing in their life and they lost it. And they look for you everywhere. That means they stalk you as well as everybody that they have sex with, they think of you. Everybody they deal with, they hope that they can find little bits and pieces of you in them. So they're just basically Spreading themselves thin in hopes of finding true love again. Ugh. Let's get some love messages. Past love for Capricorn. Past love for Capricorn. Past love. Past love for Capricorn. Past love for Capricorn. Past love for Capricorn. Past love for Capricorn. Is giving mommy I need attention daddy I need attention I didn't get enough when I was a child or I had too much attention when I was a child so I am very very codependent on your energy now this person is somebody who's gonna try to reconcile with you but we saw that after getting toxic advice from their friends they're gonna come in and try to show you fake love come in wanting to have sex with you hoping that you keep a open mind about them, an open heart, knowing that they haven't healed, knowing that you can't trust them and it's going to end up in separation because they're coming in to deceive you. This person is not the one and they may have children with other people and you don't even know about. This person wants you to give them a second chance after giving you breadcrumbs. I think the fuck not. <laughs> I think not. Yes, they are passionate about you, but that's about it. They got a lot of sex to go around and a lot of STDs as well. Yeah, I see it. I'm only calling in new love. New love. New love for Capricorn. Oh, new love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. 
New love for Capricorn. New love. New love. Somebody that you're going to be very attracted to. There's going to be a lot of, lots, a lot of attraction. But beware of unrequited love. Even though this is going to be your true love, and there's going to be a lot of chemistry, be careful that there, it doesn't become unrequited where somebody is pouring more into the other. All right? This is going to be worth giving a chance to. This is going to be the love that you deserve, but you're just going to have to keep, make sure that you work at it. A relationship is a job. You have to build on it. You have to work on it so that it remains stable. This is somebody that you're going to be able to trust. This is going to be a love worth waiting for. This is going to be the one, but be aware because this is giving the path. You, this is get Capricorn. I'm about to bust you upside your head because this is giving you giving the past person a chance and they're going to be knowing that they're deceptive. I'm about to bring your, bring your ass over here. We want new love. You want new love. So if you go back to this person, knowing, that, knowing who they are, I ought to. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it because now that i see the whole spread you're literally gonna allow this deceptive person back in you're gonna try to get to know each other again you're going to allow this person you and this person are going to try to become friends and uh, allow y'all bring y'all friend group together try to make everything fix it fix a hole that is unable to be fixed you're gonna try and make it work and try to to basically change the, the, the fate. You're gonna reconcile with this person. Y'all gonna be expressing love to each other. Everything, everything gonna be sweet, peachy, bubblegum in the beginning. It's gonna be a bunch of sex. You're gonna feel like, oh, I got my true love back. I, this was meant to be. Uh, I'm about to let my guard down knowing that this person has a wand in the back of their hand deceiving you. You're going to take a chance give them a second chance it's just going to be a lot of chemistry you're going to be dumb in love and then in the end it's just going to be sex and unrequited love Capricorn I know you're smarter than this I don't know if this person got some good sex but uh and you may just end up getting pregnant by this person or trapped with a kid getting somebody else pregnant. So I, my advice to you is stay clear of anybody from your past because you've got somebody in your past that you were still in love with, Capricorn. You don't want to tell nobody, but it's true. You, and it's one, it's somebody from your past that you would give a second chance. And um, you may just end up doing it, but my thing is just know that it's going to end just as quickly as it started. But you're gonna have more baggage and more burdens once you leave this time than when you did last time. So it's your choice to open up your heart or not because I can't beat you through the screen. But you know, if I wasn't in front of you, we would have to get him up because you know better than that. But anyway, I'm glad you came to watch. I'm glad you got all the information that you need to needed to know to make a good decision, even though I feel like you're gonna try me. And we're going to be right back here tomorrow. But anyway, I appreciate all the love and support y'all give me on a daily, baby. It is the cutest thing I could ask for. I eat it up. I love it. And what? I bathe in it. <laughs> I also want to thank you all for the super thanks as well as the channel donations. And baby, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the personal reading bookings. Because you know, like I know, I'm going to tell you the truth if you like it or not. Okay, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.